hi everyone welcome to today's tutorial so in this tutorial we're going to discuss how we can find the period the amplitude the shift of phase um, of the function that we've been given here the trigonometric function and we're also going to see how we can sketch the graph of a trig function all right so the first thing that we're going to do in this uh, question the first thing that we are going to start with is uh, uh, finding the period, the amplitude and the shift of the phase or the phase shift. So how do we find or how do we state the period? So the period is simply just um, 2 pi divided by the coefficient of x. So in this case, okay, let me write the formula here. So the period of a trig function is simply just 2 pi if you want you can use 360 degrees 2 pi in radians divided by the coefficient of x so the coefficient of x here we only have one there so when you divide that you're just going to have 2 pi as the answer this is our period and then apart from that we've also been asked to find the amplitude so how do you find the amplitude so the amplitude is simply just the coefficient of the trigonometric function so in this case the amplitude is simply just 5 and then we've also been asked to find the shift of phase so the shift of phase or the sh phase shift is simply just found by equating uh, this to 0 you equate x plus half x plus pi over 2 to 0 and then make x the subject of the formula so this is going to be um, this is going to be equal to negative uh, pi over 2 so if you want you can write pi over 2 or if you want you can say pi uh, if you want you can write negative pi over 2 or pi over 2 you write uh, saying to the left so this is how you find the first shift of a trig function so we can also find the vertical shift, which is um, so the vertical shift is simply just the number that is found this side. But in this case, we don't have anything; it's just a zero. Sometimes it's put in front. Yeah, so that is the vertical shift. So in this case, we don't have anything, so it's zero. All right. So we're done with this question. Let's look at the other question. So this question, I mean, the other question is asking us to find, uh, I mean, to sketch the graph. So how do we sketch the graph of this function? It's very simple. Since we have the amplitude already, the period, and the vertical shift, so the, uh, sketching the graph becomes simple. Okay. So I'm going to draw this. So after drawing that, I'll put the amplitudes. So the amplitude is 5, then there's also negative 5 this side. And then uh, since this has not shifted vertically, meaning it's easier to draw, so we know that, um, we know that, um, Okay, let me put the what is the angles. So we, we if we want we can divide the the period by four. So we can divide the period by four. So if you divide the period by four, we're going to have uh, pi over two. I just want to I just want to know the segments that I'm going to or the divisions I'm going to put on my x plane. Or the the what is the yeah the x plane in short. So to find those divisions, you simply divide the period by four. So two pi over four gives us pi over two. So I'm going to have uh, pi over two there, of course negative. Then we have pi over two. Then we have pi there. Then we have 
pi over 2 plus pi that will give us 3 pi over 2 plus pi over 2 that will give us um, 2 pi there so this is a cosine graph and it's positive if it was negative it would have started like this but since it's positive it's going to start like that so we expect it to start from um, from negative pi I mean from negative pi over 2 because it's shifted and then here we have a 0 then so it's going to be like that Okay, the best way to the, bet the best way to sketch this is to get these same points which I've put and uh, try to test them. So if you put um, zero where there is uh, x there, you're going to have zero plus pi over two. That will give you pi over two sine pi over two. Uh, when you convert that, I mean, in two degrees you get ninety. So sine ninety, we know that it's one. So 1 times 5, it will give us 5. So at this point, we expect the graph to cut the y-axis at this point. So this is our y-intercept. So this is our y-intercept. Then the x-intercepts are found when you replace 0 this side. But even in this case, we can find them. So what if you put um, negative pi over 2 there? And when you put negative pi over 2, this curve is going to... Um, if you put negative pi over 2, this will be... Uh, 0 because negative pi over 2 plus pi over 2 this will be 0 uh, 0 and then we notice a sign 0 is 0 0 times 5 it will still be 0 so I'm going to have something like this so we know that it has started we need to cut the uh, the y axis at that point and then let's try to put pi over 2 if we put pi over 2 there it's going to give us sign pi then we know to say sine pi is simply just the same as sine 190 oh uh, rather what sine 180 which gives us zero so we expect it to to cut the x-axis again at pi over 2 then we can also try to put in pi there which is uh, pi plus when you put pi here you're going to have pi plus pi over 2 is going to give you 3 pi over 2 um, 3 pi over 2 which is just the same as um, 3 pi over 2 when you convert it to degrees so uh, that's 270 and then 270 we notice sign 270 is negative 1 so negative 1 times 5 we get negative 5 so we expect it to be at that point so I'm sure it's going to come out like that. So this is how it's going to be. Yeah, so this is how it's going to be. And we can see that from this point to that point, we simply have 2 pi, which is uh, equivalent to the what is to the to the amplitude there. Alright, so thank you very much for watching today's tutorial. Um, if you have any questions on the sketching of graph of trig functions, feel free to contact me on any of these lines on the screen. I'm going to forward you a video where I've solved a lot of questions just sketching graphs of trigonometric functions. Alright, so don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Click the notification button so that you don't, uh, you don't miss the videos that I'm going to be posting. And join my telegram group there is a link just right in the description um, it's in the description just uh, check it up and then click on that uh, click on the link to redirect you to telegram and join the group you don't you you, you not um, you not have any what's this in short you not miss any video that i'll be posting because i always post the videos directly into my telegram group see you in the next tutorial video shalom shalom